All right, we're here with a couple of our freshman wide receivers at Cal. Uh, we'll start with Bryce Treggs. Bryce, can you, uh, it's your first double day today. Can you tell us how it went? It went pretty well. We started off a little bit slow in this second practice because we were so fatigued from the first one. But uh, at the end of practice, we really picked it up and, uh, and the tempo was great. And Chris, what are your thoughts here on the first double day at Cal? Uh, I think they were a little bit challenging, but I think we all got through it and, uh, and we went through at a great pace in the first practice and then the second practice we started off a little bit slow, but then we started to regain our focus and uh, pick it up. But Bryce, in general, compared to like, you know, high school and, and uh, you know, any, any ball you played before, what, what's the intensity and the tempo of these practices in comparison to that? Uh, it's a lot more fast. The, the transition between periods are, are, a lot, are a lot more rapid than they are in high school because we have a specific segment clock and we don't have one of those in high school. Chris, do you see these practices as being more efficient, like you're getting the most out of the time that you're out here? Uh, yes, I do see them as more efficient because um, from drill to drill, we run a little bit faster than we did in high school. And uh, I guess the time the time that it takes to get from drill to drill, it, it, uh, you get more stuff done when you, when you uh, hustle up. Now, Bryce, both of you guys, but we'll direct this to Bryce. Bryce, you're a young guy. There's some, there's some old guys here in their fifth, maybe even a guy in his sixth year. Uh, do you guys use your youth at all to get through these and some of the older guys have more aches and pains than you guys do in double days? Oh, yeah, definitely. Our body is young, so all we need to recover is getting a, a quick ice bath and we're ready for the next practice. So we have a little advantage to that because we have fresh legs. Chris, what's the philosophy between practices? What, what are you doing? Are you sleeping? Are you, what's, what's, what's going on between today's two practices? Uh, between practices, we have, we have one meeting and, I mean, there's like a there's like a two hour bridge that we have to that we have to relax. So some of us use it to sleep, some of us use it to talk on the phone or whatever, and then we have lunch before before that. And that's it. Bryce, what's the funniest thing you saw today with a double day? Maybe with a veteran passed out on a couch or <laughs> you know, what what something more than that, maybe laid laid out in the locker room. Can you kinda just describe the scene between practices today? Uh, I mean, when you walked in the locker room, there were just blow up mattresses and Tempur-Pedic bed, bed covers just everywhere around the locker room. Basically, everybody was knocked out. So, so that was pretty funny to see everybody sleep and trying to get ready for the second practice. I'll direct the last question back to Bryce. Bryce, your dad played here about 20 years ago, 25 years ago. Did he tell you anything about double days? Did he say, hey, they're easier now, you've only got three during camp? Have you talked to him at all about double days? Uh, I've not talked to him all, at all about that, but the one thing that he said is better for us is that our camp is on campus and they had to go to Santa Rosa for their camp. And then he said it was like 110 when they were practicing out there, so, so, so we have it good. But he has no double day stories for you? No, not yet, not that I've heard of. All right, well, you better ask him a few tonight and, and I'll bet she's got a few. I will. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for spending some time with us. No problem. Okay.